Hey there, home lovers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So previously in my channel, I've gone through setting up Comfy UI, which utilized DirectML in Windows. But DirectML is not all that performant. Um, so we've been working up to using Rock'em, but using it in Windows subsystem for Linux. So with that, we're gonna go over all the steps you need to set up Comfy UI now using Rock'em across Windows subsystem for Linux. Let's go. One of the very first things you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that Rock'em is actually running and sees your graphics cards. I just ran the command Rock'em info and you'll see here that it is in fact seeing Agent 2 is this Radeon RX 7900 XT. Rock'em on Windows Subsystem for Linux seems to, at the moment, really be relegated to RDNA 3 and RDNA 4. But either way, you will want to run Rock'em Info to just make sure that it is in fact running and that it does in fact see your graphics card. With that, we have a bit of housekeeping to do. The first thing we need to do is sudo apt install git. It's gonna ask for your sudo password. And so with that, you'll need to put in your sudo password. So now that we have git installed, which will be required later on, uh, we can move on to installing Python. I will have all of the commands that you need to run in the video description. So don't worry too much about being able to see exactly what's being typed. But this, this command is sudo apt install python3 and python3pip. The next command we're gonna to need to install installs a virtual environment. Because I run a lot of different things for myself, it makes sense to run it in a virtual environment. But technically this is optional. And if you maybe were only ever going to set up this and nothing else, it might make sense. Still a virtual environment allows you to install packages for one thing without installing them really globally. They will only be installed in that one virtual environment, which will allow you to potentially switch between virtual environments to run different things without having version mismatches and things like that. So now that we have the Python 3 virtual environment package, we are going to make directory and we're going to make a directory called Comfy UI. And then we're going to cd into Comfy UI. So we need to create a Comfy UI virtual environment. And what we're going to do to do this is use Python 3-m venv Comfy UI environment. And then we're going to set the flag of system site packages. This will ensure that things stay very separate from the rest of the system and that different Python environments don't end up having conflicts. Now that we have that, we can simply activate it using the command source comfy UI venv bin activate. And now we are inside of our virtual environment to run comfy UI. Now with Rock'em, there are a handful of other things that we are going to want to do just to ensure that stuff is as compatible as possible. We're going to actually upgrade pip with wheels. And for that, we need to pip3 install upgrade pip wheel. That will ensure that we have the most up-to-date wheels package. And we are going to set up PyTorch and Triton. This is gonna be a pretty big command. Once you successfully see that it has in fact installed and run through all of this without any glaring errors or things like that. When running this on Windows Subsystem for Linux, 
after you have installed Torch, there is actually a file that you need to remove, and it is this libhsa runtime64.so. So you'll see here that I went through and, and removed it, but I will have a command for you in the video description to do this. So the last thing we need to do now that everything should be set up properly is to actually clone Comfy UI. Go ahead and run get clone and then the Comfy UI command. Once we clone it, if we take a look at our directory structure, you'll see that there is a folder named Comfy UI with a capital C and a Comfy UI virtual environment. So we're going to CD over into Comfy UI. Since we have actually manually installed the PyTorch and the Triton that we want, we are going to go ahead and nano the requirements.txt. This is going to bring up a, a editor and we are going to remove Torch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio, And with Nano, basically this is the packages that it's going to install. And we have already insta installed our own Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio. So we do not want to have it install a different one. We are going to hit Control X and it's going to ask if we want to save the modified buffer. Yes, we do. The file name, just leave it as the exact file that it currently already is. With that, we're going to pip install minus r requirements.txt. This is going to go through and start installing everything. If everything installs correctly, then the last thing that we should need to do is just run python3 main.py. And this should go ahead and launch Comfy UI for us. It has now launched and it says that it is available on this. So Comfy UI has a decent amount of complex things that make it hard for people to understand. Personally, I am not a huge fan of Comfy UI, but I do understand why people like it. So if you are very new and don't know how to like do anything, I'm going to say it's not the most intuitive. So here's probably the first thing I would recommend doing. Come over to templates. Inside of templates, say I want to do image generation. Click on that. It will create this default workflow. Once it does that, it will go to see if you have a, uh, a model. And these models are generally used as safe tensors files. There's a lot of different ones it can use, but it will say, do you want to load a checkpoint? And then it will try to load a model. Now, if you don't have any models, it will bring up a, a little window saying, hey, why don't you download this model? This is Stable Diffusion 1.5. It is old at this point, but it is a very basic Stable Diffusion model that you can easily download, and it will just literally bring up a button and say, do you want to download it? And for starting out, I would recommend most people just, just go with this one and just give it a shot. So once you download it, you are going to then need to move it from where it downloads to Stable Diffusion. If you ended up downloading this file, it will end up in your downloads folder. So you're going to need to come over to downloads and then you are simply going to need to move it into Comfy UI. Now remember, Comfy UI is running on Windows Subsystem for Linux. 
So in case you don't know how to get over to Windows Subsystem for Linux, inside of your file folder at the top, the little like address bar, you're gonna type backslash backslash wsl.localhost. Once you get to there, it will come up with Ubuntu. You can double click inside of that. And for folks who are not very familiar with uh, Linux file structure, your files are going to be located inside of home and then your username. And then we installed this inside of ComfyUI. So ComfyUI right here. And then we put it inside of a ComfyUI folder. So go inside of there. And then you'll see this models folder. Now, if this is something you plan on potentially doing a decent amount, you can always right click on this one or any of them and say pin to quick access. If you pin this to quick access, then inside of Windows, when you initially open up your file folder, you'll see that down inside of here, I have comfy UI in my quick access, and this is a pinned folder. And so all I have to do is click on this and it brings me straight into comfy UI here. So if you are planning on doing different models or if you don't want to come back here this same long way, you can simply pin a folder and you could pin any of them into quick access. And so then it will be much easier for you to get over to Windows subsystem for Linux. So that's how to get a model running. And so with myself here, I now have this model running. And so all I need to do is hit the run button. When you initially hit run, it will start popping up with stuff and, and telling you things that are going on. And my very first run took like 70 seconds. I'm not entirely sure what all it's doing um when that happens but on its first run i guess it needs to maybe do some calculations because this is not my first run running it and you'll see that it's now going substantially faster like the first one when i just loaded this model was three seconds and then after that it was 1.37 1 1.38 1.39 and yesterday I was actually getting a little bit more iterations per second, but either way, you know, this is quite fast. It's doing 20 steps and doing almost 20 iterations per second. So that's a really basic walkthrough of kind of what you can do with Comfy UI. And if you don't, if you're not very familiar with it, how to start getting going. Uh, there are other templates that you can use in painting, out painting, and they're all going to have a lot of this, a lot of this type boxes and, and uh, spaghetti connecting each other. So I hope that helps. Now that you've got Comfy UI up and running, you know, one of the first questions that people ask is how do you stop? Go over to your Ubuntu and hit Control C, and you'll see that it says stopped server. And then if you want to get out of your uh, virtual environment, just type deactivate. At some point, if you have gotten out of everything, deactivated it, or you have just launched Ubuntu, the only thing that you will need to do is go over to your Comfy UI, type source, and then Comfy UI, Comfy UI virtual environment, and then bin, and then activate. That will put you back into your Comfy UI virtual environment and with that, we can CD back into Comfy UI, and then we can Python 3 main.main.py. Oh, my, my mistake. We can move back into Comfy UI with CD Comfy UI, and then we can simply run Python 3 main.py, and this will allow you from a time when you are not in it to actually start it back up again.
As always, I am FE Engineer. Thank you so much, home labbers and engineers. Thank you for watching. And like all other YouTubers, if you would be so kind as to like and or subscribe for this types of content and other similar types of content, I would appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.